Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You are watching for today. So today I came with the almost stable custom ROM called as the Rise Droid 8.6 with the Nothing OS camera application and some amazing features for your Nothing Phone One by the Optimus Prime. Last time we reviewed the Rise Droid 7.5 beta update, flashing is same like the old update. You can check it from the iCard if you are flashing the ROM first time. But if you are already on the Rise Droid, then you will get the OT update. Just download and flash it. Our side load the update was stock recovery using the adb side load command i already did the clean flashing today we'll do the cpu throttling and the performance comparison with the old update review of the new amazing features review of nothing was camera application battery performance of the new rom finally i discussed what are the bugs and my final verdict so watch the video till the end now without wasting time let's get started on the new adventure So first of all, we will see all the new changes that I found in the new Rise.8.6 in the about phone section. This is the same Rise UI 3.0 version. Rise OS version is 8.6, which is based on the latest Lineage OS sources with the Lineage OS Easter egg. This is official Rise Droid build supported by the developer Vikasaka Optimus Prime. Android version is the same A13 with the Android 13 Easter egg. Rise Droid version is upgraded to the 8.6 Mukapuno build. Security patch is of November 2022. Build date of ROM is 2nd December 2022. ROM comes with the permissive Pixis kernel version 5.4.210. So everything is up to date on this new build. Now we'll see the performance test of the new ROM with the comparison with the old build. In the first appearance, ROM is super smooth and stability of ROM is also very good as compared to the old build. On the 120Hz, ROM is absolutely flying and the stock ROM OS is nowhere in front of this ROM. You will absolutely love it after using the ROM. After running the Geekbench, I got 800 for the single core and 2970 for a multi core. If you compare this with the old base, there we got 783 and 2883, so definitely slight improvement is found here. Next, we did the Vulcan Graphics API performance check. Here we got 2358, which is nearly same as the old build. In the personalization setting of the ROM, we got the new option called as the Scarlet Services in which you get the performance mode but when i enable this setting and again did the geekbench performance test results slightly got lower down like the 736 and 2867 respectively now let's do the cpu throttling test and we will compare it with the old build when i ran the test on the 20 test for the 5 minutes while the test after 4 minutes yellow line started to rise in the graph and which affected the score and we got the score of 74 percent of maximum throttling which is very low score to reconfirm, I ran the test one more time, then I got the score of 88% still compared to the stock nothing OS. These scores are very low and fluctuating a lot. Now we'll see some new and the unique customization features implemented in the ROM. If you go to the personalization setting, here we get the new option called as the device center. Here we get the new and the unique features like the block sensor, scarlet services, sleep mode, etc. Block sensor is setting which provides the option to block the sensor which will help to improve your battery to the next level. Here we can block all the sensor or can block the sensor for the specific applications. So when phone is not in use that time we can block the sensor which will drain the battery at the minimal level. ROM has the new and the advanced gaming mode. We already seen this game mode so I will not go in details for this feature. Next is the Scarlet Services option. Here we get the new toggle that is the Scarlet Boost which will help to improve the ROM performance. Another is a Scarlet Aggressive Idle Mode. This one also helps to improve the battery performance of the ROM. Next is the battery saving feature called as the Sleep Mode. Here we get the timing and the preferences like what should be active and off during the night mode. So set your preferences like the Bluetooth, Wi-Fi on and off toggles. Before going to sleep, enable this mode which will help to avoid the battery drain in the idle condition. In the lock screen setting we get the ambient display gesture. Here we get the edge lightning feature for the notification on the lock screen but it's not working and will be fixed in the new updates. There is a new under display fingerprint animation setting. Here we can add the multiples of the fingerprint icons and the animation as you can check on the screen. In the quick setting customization, you can hide the tile labels and can also change the alignment of the tiles which will give the something different look to the quick setting panel. 
Instead of this, other advanced customization also available under the user interface option, which we already seen in the old video. Only some additional customizations are added here, like new power panel styles. Here you get the four different power panels, like the Light 812, Classic 8, Grid, and the Legacy A7. In the sound and vibration setting, you get the new volume panel styles, like the Realme UI and the Rise styles. Under the system setting and the buttons option, new taskbar toggle is available which will enable the home screen dock application available anywhere in the ROM. These applications can be accessible anywhere in the ROM along with the app drawer. We can long press on the edges of this bar and on the now bar appeal to activate or disable the taskbar. All the applications can be opened in the split screen. Glyph interface setting is available here, but still Glyph notification lights are not fully working and will be added in the upcoming builds. For now, we just get the brightness slider and the Glyph light for the charging meter. ROM has the OT updater setting, here we get the new OT update notification and we can directly update them without going into the recovery. In the home setting of the launcher, we get the new wallpaper zooming feature. If you toggle on this option, wallpaper on the home screen shrinks to the center of the screen and will zoom in and out when it opens the app drawer or any application in the ROM. Actually, when we first time boot the ROM, we will get this feature already enabled by the default. In the display setting of the ROM, we get the dark theme toggle. Here we get the pure black theme. New screen or fingerprint icon toggle will help you to show you the always on fingerprint icon on the always on display. We can enable or disable this icon using this toggle. So these are the new options and the feature we've seen. Now let's check out the new Nothingos camera application available in the ROM. Finally, developers added the Nothingos camera in the ROM and it's almost working, but still some features are buggy. Slow motion is working in this application, in the video recording 180p and the 4K recordings are working, but there is no option to choose the frame rates like the 30 or 60 FPS. Portrait mode is not working, it's causing the force close of camera application. Panorama mode, macro mode, expert mode and the timeless mode, all things are working. All the wide angle camera modes like the 0 0.5, 1 and 2 are working well. Flashlight is working in the camera, but the glyph light is not working. Camcorder light setting is available, but the light is not working. But the video stabilization is working well. So most of the things are working in this initial camera application. So there are lots of chances it will be fully working in the upcoming builds. When I tested the Gcam MDC build here, all the things are working except the slow motion and 4K 60fps recording. Now it's time to check the battery performance of the ROM. Battery life is similar to the latest Nothing OS 1.1.7. If you check my latest current usage, total usage is of 8 hours with the 4 hour off screen on time. Still 56% of battery is left. Screen of battery drain is 3% per hour. So definitely phone will last up to 18 to 20 hours and SOT will be more than 6 hours. I use the phone with the Wi-Fi and GPS on hold the time. Always on display is off. Bluetooth used as per requirement. Screen refresh rate is on adaptive mode. If you check one of the old full battery cycle where I used the phone with the adaptive refresh rate, here battery drain seems more as compared to the old one. Here total usage time was 14 hours with the 6 plus hours of SOT. Screen of battery drain was 3.1% per hour. There are the bunch of the application user as you can check on the screen. If you are using the ROM on the adaptive refresh rate mode, then battery life will be same as the stock nothing was 1.1.7. And if you're using the advanced setting like the sleep mode, Scarlet services, then it will be super amazing than the stock nothing OS. Now it's time to show you what are the bugs or the issues in the ROM. First is the ROM wide one security is on L3, so you can't stream the Netflix and the Amazon Prime on the full HD solution. Next is the selenium status of the ROM is permissive, so security wise device is more prone to the phishing attacks. Device has the theme icons option in the home setting of the launcher and in the wallpaper style application, but still icon theming is not working. We already seen that the ambient edge lighting is not working in the lock screen setting under the personalization option. Glyph lights options are available, but until now no notification and the glyph camera light is working. Wireless charging is not working and there is no setting available to activate that in the main setting of the ROM. Except these bugs, I did not found any issues in the ROM, so definitely this update is really worth to use. As per the developer's announcement, in the upcoming days update, we will get the fully working nothing was camera, in TWRP recovery, few working options for the glyph light. Once you get that update, I will definitely review it. Until then, if you think that I helped you, then please do like, share and subscribe. 
press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye